Alright, what's going on guys? Moxification here. So today I'm going to show you how you can get your J Tiger or GH online using Ninja. So just to say, this video is mainly probably going to go up on the uh, Ninja website and it's going to help people on there hopefully. So that's the whole point in this video. And I have done multiple videos on other servers, you know, how to set them up. And it's basically the same thing, but I'm, you know, going to show it here. So uh, we'll get into it. So to start off, what you want to do is you want to go to the Ninja website, which I'm already on, and you want to go to the download section. So it's, you know, the website is xbls.ninja, and, uh, you know, you want to go there, and download section, I'll click on that, and then you want to download the plugins. So that's the middle link, it's the one right here. I've actually already got it, but I'll, I'll download it again just to, you know, just to show you. So uh, what you have is you'll have the, uh, you'll have a folder, you go into the folder, you've got, the files that you're going to need, and I've already got them, and I'll show you them in a second. Um, you've got the download link for the Ninja XC build, so you know you can update to the latest dashboard if you haven't already. And I'll leave a you know a link in the description if you need to do that, and I'll link a video as well if you know you don't know how to do that or you don't know if you're on the latest update. Um, and then there's a README for instructions. So you know, I mean, you're probably not going to need them, but you might want to read them. You know, if you're if you're having trouble. But uh, hopefully this video will help. So yeah, so I'm going to exit out of the website now. And then, yeah, so here's the files that you're going to get. You're going to get the, you know, the regular files. You're going to get the um, the launch.ini, the ninja.xex. You're going to get the xbdm.xex and the xdrpc.xex. Uh, the xdrpc actually has jrpc2 built into it. So, you know, you don't really need jrpc2 because it's already there. So, uh yeah, so what you want to do is you want to get a USB stick. Uh, you can transfer files through neighborhood if you you know if you want to or you know how to or if you use that over using a USB. But I'm going to show how to do it with the USB because a lot of people do still use a USB. So uh, yeah, so I think I've already got my USB in the computer, so I'm going to find it. Here it is. So I've already got the files on there, but I'm just going to show you you know me moving them across anyway. There you go. Copy and replace. Copy and replace. And copy and replace. So they're all on there. Um, so yeah, so what you want to do is you want to take out the USB and put it on your, you know, in your JTAG or GH. So I'll see you on the console. Okay, so next what you want to do is you want to go into XEX menu. Make sure that your USB stick is in the, you know, in the console. Uh, so, you know, you can transfer the stuff over. So we're going to go into XEX menu now. And uh, everything should be good. Alright, so you want to go to your USB stick, so make sure it is in the console. So if you don't know where to find your USB stick in XEX menu, it's called USB 0. So all you want to do is press X, then you know that's USB 0, and then you can go to USB 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste uh, these four things over onto the root of the hard drive. So the root of the hard drive is HDD1, and it's once you click on HDD1, that is the root of the hard drive. So, you know, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to copy and paste them all over now. So copy, paste, copy, paste, copy. Oh, cut. Didn't mean to do that. Paste. And then uh, copy and then paste and I'm just going to do that really quickly one more time I'm going to do the XBDM because uh, I think I think I accidentally clicked a uh, cut I seem to do that a lot but uh, yeah so once I've done that all I want to do is uh, all you want to do is go to the dashboard so I'm going to click my games because sometimes when you're in XDX menu and you click dashboard it doesn't take you to dashboard I'm not sure why but uh, yeah so now I'm on dashboard all you want to do is reset your Xbox so when I reset my Xbox um, I'm just gonna stop recording and then when it comes back on I'm gonna you know start recording again so I'll see you when you know the console's rebooting okay so the console just rebooted and I've now got a notification saying you know ninja time has expired because I don't have any time right now I do actually have a uh, token that I would use to you know redeem so that's what I'm gonna do in a second but if you haven't got a token and you need to buy time all you would have to do is go to one of them web uh, go to one of them websites which is xplc.ninja um, and then slash shop if that's you know if you're trying to buy it with a card like a credit card debit card um, or, or if you use PayPal then you'd go to digitalpaymentgateway.com and if you need any support 
um, then you just go to irc.xpls.ninja and uh, all of that information is on the site so you know if you need any help it's all on the site so uh yeah so i've actually already got a code so i'm gonna redeem that now so to redeem it all you gotta do is press the uh guide button uh find it which is on the right hand side ninja settings and then go down to the ninja token menu and then redeem uh, ninja code so uh, it's gonna come up with the uh area that i'm gonna type it in so i'm gonna open it up i've got it in a notepad and uh, i'm gonna make it a bit bigger because it's actually the font is really small but uh, yeah, there you go. So it's uh, just to say this code that I'm about to type in, it won't work for you. You can try it, but um, it's you know it's not going to work because I'm going to redeem it. And uh, just to say it's a one day token. So uh, yeah, so A S uh, Z uh, F uh, 6 3 uh, R. Oh, wait, there you go. R uh, 8 5. Uh, H8R There you go, that should be right There you go, so now the console's gonna re uh, reboot itself So I'm gonna, you know, stop recording And when it, you know, once it's rebooted I'll, uh, I'll come back, so, uh, yeah Okay, so the console just came back on After, you know, I redeemed the, to uh, the token So now all I've got to do, the final step Which is put the KV on So to put the KV on, all you want to do is uh, Either put the KV on uh, your on a USB or put it on the uh, through XDX uh, through neighborhood sorry and uh, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a I'm going to put the KV on a USB uh, from my computer and then I'm going to put the uh, the KV onto the uh, Xbox so I'm going to do that right now I'm just going to plug it in into the computer uh, you won't be able to see this I'm just going to you know it's, it's a quick step that it doesn't need to be shown so, uh, yeah, so it's in my computer right now. I'm just gonna, you know, wait for it to come up on the computer and then uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see in a minute. So, I'm, I'm actually gonna put it on the XEX menu right now. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna, you know, go into XEX menu. Uh, there you go. There you go. And I need to sign into a gamer tag as well on XEX menu. And I'm going to put the USB into the console now. After it's signed me in. It's taking quite a while to sign me into the into the game attack. Alright, there you go, that's what I was waiting for. So now all I've got to do is put the KV on. So let me copy that. And then go to the hard drive. And then just paste that, paste the KV in the root of the hard drive. And all you've got to do is finally reboot the console once. And uh, I'll see you once I've rebooted it. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so the console's coming on for the final time. And, you know, I basically I'm going to be good to go online right now. And you'll see that in a second. But what I forgot to say uh, in the last segment... Uh, what would happen is once you put the KV on, it actually re uh, reboots the console twice, so, you know, it flashes the KV, and so if your console turns on and then it reboots, you know, a second time, then it's just, you know, it's doing what it does, it's totally normal, totally fine, and I uh, forgot to say that, but yeah, so now I'm on, and I'm gonna do the test connections, you can see that, you know, I'm connected to live and everything, uh, you should be able to see that here anyway, but uh, you'll see in a second, so, uh, yeah. Here we go. So I'm going to go to the settings system and the network settings, and then I'll do the they go the wired and then test Xbox Live connection. And this might actually take a while to connect because my internet is absolutely terrible. But you know, for you, I guess it will go pretty quick. You know, I guess it will go from the Xbox to network to internet to Xbox Live pretty quick. But for me, it does take it does take a fair amount of time. So um, yeah, so. It's pretty simple to set up, it's pretty easy, and there are actually some pretty sick things on Ninja uh, that you'll you've probably you probably know about. So uh 
yeah so i'll leave any information in the description you know i'll leave the website links i'll leave um just information in the description that you'll need and uh yeah so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video uh yeah goodbye